Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the lookup activity inside the Azure Data Factory. So, if you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so where you can understand about the delete activity, and today we'll see about the lookup activity. So, what is the lookup activity in the Azure Data Factory? So, what is the lookup activity in Azure Data Factory? So, lookup activity can retrieve a data set from any of the Azure Data Factory. So it can be used to retrieve any of the data set. Next, it can read and return the context of a configuration file or table. It may also return the result of the executing a query or store procedure. So it may be used to get the values from the config file or table or we can directly get the values by executing the SQL query or the store procedures. Next is the output of the lookup activity can be used in the subsequent activities. So that we will see in the next video how we can use the output of the lookup activity. So before going forward, I would strongly recommend to visit this website of the Microsoft so you will have the better understanding what type of sources we can use let me quickly go through about this link so here you can see the supported capabilities so under the supported capabilities you can see the lookup activity can return up to 5000 rows and if the result set contain more than records the first 5000 record will be written Next, the lookup activity output only supports up to 4 MB in the size. Activity will fail if the size is exceed in the limit. Next, the longest duration of the lookup activity before timeout is 24 hours. If it is going to take more than that, your lookup activity will fail. Next, when you use the query or store procedure to look up the data, make sure to return one and exact one result set otherwise your lookup activity will fail like if you are going to select any select statement so you should have only a single output if we are going to get the multiple outputs there by writing the two select statements maybe so your lookup activity will fail next so these are the supported data types by which we can use the lookup activity so under the azure as you can see the azure blob storage and other options is also available so you can go through on this like here azure sql database is also available under the databases we can see we can use the db2 we can use the amazon and we can scroll a little bit downside hive we can use hbase we can use mariadb we can use mysql is also and Oracle. So these are the data types and you can see the SQL Server as well. So these are the your sources by which you can get the data in the lookup activity. So go to our the our requirement and we'll try to understand that requirement. So here in my example, I am having these two databases in real time. Your source will be different environment and your destination will be different environment. So here under the same SQL Server, we are having two databases that you can see SSU and SSU prod. So under the SSU, we are having one of the table that is the partner revenue detail. So in the partner revenue detail that you can see the data. So this table may be going to fill on first week of every month and the refresh date of that will be updated for that date only. So in this month that you can see April 2022. So the data of this table is updated and you can see first of the April 2022. So if your refresh date, which is the latest one, then only we want to execute our pipeline and will load all the data into the and the database that you can see SSU prod. So under the SSU prod, we are also having this table and the table structure is same for both the tables that you can verify from here. So if you have the latest data, only then we want to load the data there. So how we can check the latest data here? 
so for that we have to use the lookup activity so go to on the browser and go to on the portal and let me try to create a new pipeline here and let me call this pipeline as lookup activity now here we can go under the activities and here we can search for the lookup so we can drag and drop the lookup activity now under the lookup activity we can see here the name that is lookup one second is the description so in the name we can call this as get refresh date in the description we can specify the description if you want then the timeout retry so all these options we have already seen in many of the activities so go to on the settings directly so under the setting we have to create a data set so as of now we don't have any data set which is pointing to that table so let me try to create a new one click on new and this will be the azure sql so let me select that click on continue here under the link service so we can click on that so we are having these are the link service so i am going to use this one as we have already created in the previous videos and under the table if we can try to search out then this is the table now here let me go and call this as lookup and this lookup for the partner revenue so everything looks good click on ok here so once we have selected that data set then here we can see the option for the first row only so this first row only can be used here if we are not going to select this checkbox then entire data set will be returning so if we can click on the preview data so it should see all the data but if we are going to select only the first row then we'll have only one row that you can see so that option we can use and here we can see the query timeout in minutes so that is 120 that is okay in our case isolation level is not required as we can see the read committed read uncommitted so all the isolations levels are available for the sql so we are not going to use that then the partitioning option so that is okay that is none in the user properties in the previous of videos we have already seen about the user property so i am not going to cover that in this video so let me try to publish it and we'll try to execute it so this lookup activity will be having the output of the table that is the partner revenue and it will return only first row from that table so now let me try to debug it and we'll see the output of this so this is running so we can wait this is in queue let me refresh it so this is in queue so it got succeed so if we can click on this so this is indicating for the output so under this output we can see the first row is returning only and these are the columns that you can see so we are having total six columns and the refresh date that is here so in the next video we will be going to see how we can store this refresh date from the output of this lookup activity so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt in the lookup activity then comment your queries in the comment box and please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video